Alright guys, so today what we're going to do is we're going to build a simple network monitoring application and essentially it's an application that will uh, ping different IP addresses. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to import a certain library um, and then we'll statically put in the IP addresses um, and then you'll see how simple it is to build a very basic network monitoring tool. So before we start coding, let's have a look at how you manually ping because whenever you want to automate you you have to think about how do you do that process manually once you know how to do it manually you would be easily it will be very easy for you to automate the process so let's say if i want to ping um, an ip address let's say the ip address is uh, let's take 4.2.2.2 or uh, let's take 8.8.8.8. .8 That's a level 3 in Google uh, DNS server uh, IP address. So if you want to ping, if you want to see whether these servers are up, what would you do in your Linux system or in your Windows system? First, you'll open the command prompt. Right? And in the command prompt, you're going to issue the command ping. And then space. And then you would have the IP address, let's say 4.2.2.2. And then what it's going to return is is going to say that uh, it's going to send a ping packet and you'll get a reply back within certain uh, time delay which uh, the message will be outputted uh, on the screen on the command prompt and uh, in Linux it runs indefinitely on Windows it pings four times unless you uh, pass in different flags so what we're going to do is uh, since we're using the Linux virtual machine we're going to be uh, passing uh, flags to ping for uh, five times and based on that we will output whether the system is up or not so in manual case what you would do is you would open a command prompt you would ping the IP address and based on the response you would know uh, that the output based on the output you would know whether the server is up or not right so exactly the same concept we will have here what we're going to do is in Python we're going to look for in Python, what we're going to do is we're going to look for a um, a library which accepts commands and which accepts commands and runs it on in the shell. Okay, so to do that, what we're going to do is, if you guys remember the uh, the library, the Python three standard library uh, link I posted. So from here, what we're going to do is you can look at different libraries that are available. I know from research that the library that we're interested in is in the operating system library, which is here. Inside here, there are different modules. The module we're interested in is the OS module. And inside this OS module, we are looking for OS.system, which is over here. So what I want you guys to do is go through this and understand what it does. Okay, so in this case, if you want to ping the IP address that we spoke about, you would use this command. So if I was to run ping 4.2.2.2, it would ping indefinitely, right? Now if I want to put a limit on it, let's say if I want to ping four times, I would say ping minus C, and then let's say four, and then I would write the IP address 4.2.2.2. Then it should ping four times, and then it should exit, right? Now, if I want to do the exact same thing in Python, what we have to do is first import the library, so import OS, then we have to run that command OS.system, and then we pass in ping minus c4 and then the ip address okay so from here we can get that uh, output now if we don't want the output and we want to see whether the ping is successful or not then we have to pay attention to certain things so first you have to read the document and you have to understand if the command that is run inside if it's successful what it outputs and if it's not successful what it outputs so 
uh, for this example, if the command that you run using this uh, library and module, if it's successful, it will return a zero that you see at the very end. If it's not successful, so let's say let's use a random command. Uh, one. Okay, that is something that exists. Okay, you'll get a, a, a different number apart from uh, uh, zero. So if it exits gracefully and everything is perfect, then you'll get uh, zero. Otherwise, you'll get a non-zero number. So you can use that to build the if statement. Okay. So what I mean by that is this. So what we're going to do in our Python code is we're going to first import the library. And in that library, we're going to is issue that command. So we'll have OS dot system and whatever the command is. And from there onwards, what you're going to do is um, you'll see the output right so if it's zero if, if it if this returns zero then we'll say it's successful so if zero then success else fail okay so let's do that next okay so let's do that i'm going to open I'm going to open the idle window and going to write it in the file. File. New file. So I'll have import OS. And then OS. And then I'll save this in a variable. So OS.system pin minus C four. Okay. So what it's going to do is going to ping four times. And it's going to save the result from this command into this variable and then we're going to use an if statement to see whether it's zero or not so if 10 is equals to equals to zero then we'll say print server reach table else print server not reachable and then we'll save it. And then we'll run it. Okay, so it runs it and then it outputs the server reachable. Now, there's another thing we're seeing that it's outputting this data, which we don't want to see when we automate. So um, there, there's a concept called a null interface in Linux. So for example, if I say ping 4.2.2.2, it will output it to the shell. If I want to send it to the null interface, I will say forward null, and then it's still running, but the output, instead of it outputting on the shell, it's sending it to the null interface. This is the same concept when we have um, internet traffic and uh, uh, when we're getting DDoS, what it does is it creates black hole and essentially sending it to the null interface right so we will do the exact same thing in our application so again we'll open it i will open it with uh the same you can open it with any text editor uh, i'm just using this for consistency right so what i'm going to say is this and then i'll output this to null interface Right, so it's still going to run the command and it's going to output zero. Uh, the only thing is it will be neat because we won't see what the output is. So I'll save, close, and run the application again. Right, so zero reachable. So in this case, we just had a very simple application where we're statically putting the IP address, right? What I want you guys to do is have a text file which reads this and output and takes it as an input and then tells you whether the server is reachable or not, right? And then you can scale up the application and then we'll talk about multi-threading. So this is it for uh, today. We'll follow up and continue 
on looking into string manipulation, which will also be useful in building uh, this application. See you guys next time.